in our previous video we got this calendar extender working but the user had to click in the text box to make it pop up and I'm going to show you another thing I like to do with the user interface to uh, make it a little more obvious that the calendar's there and to do this what we'll do is put a little picture a little calendar picture on here and to get a little calendar picture well you gotta have a little calendar picture so you can go grab one off the internet or if you, can, if you grab the zipped up copy of this you'll have this calendar small it's a PNG file so what I'm going to do is put a copy of this picture in here and then I'm going to do just a little bit to it to make it so we can use it. Uh, first I'm going to do the alt just to be accessible. Call it calendar icon and then we also have to give it an ID. And then what we'll do, oh I'm sorry let's talk about one other thing. The position of this, you know I'm positioning it right after this text box. It'll show up just to the right of this text box. But now what I can also do down here in my calendar extender is say hide the calendar extender until somebody clicks on this. And the way we do that, I know, would normally be a lot of JavaScript, but this is kind of taking care of this for us with this pop-up button ID. So inside here, if I put calendar button, whatever the ID, you know, as long as this matches the ID that I gave to the picture itself, then when somebody clicks on this picture, then the calendar will pop up. So rather than just talking about this, let's go try it out. And I think I'm going to have to, it's been a few minutes here, we'll have to probably log in again. Okay, but now you notice if I click in the box, nothing happens but I see this little picture of a calendar and when I click on it now the calendar pops up and I can click on that so I kinda like doing this and again the trick to do this to make this work is just put your picture on the page misspell that put your picture on the page oh, I dropped a quote there too Okay. Put your picture on the page relative to where you want it to the text box and again it's just normal it's in the normal flow here and then um, within your calendar extender add this pop-up button ID thing so I think you know my missing my double quotes there messed up my things here this stuff should straighten itself out so this all works um, there my green squigglies went away so the next thing I'm going to do then is add this to some other pages I've actually already got it on the add product page but what I'm going to do now is just copy this code and then go to my edit pages for my edit newsletter and edit product we'll add it in here so it's going to be the same process if you don't want to watch this it's going to be the same thing over and over again um, we'll go here and say edit fields and then go to display date convert it to a template field say OK then go to the source and find the display date and again this is in the edit template on this one we're an edit newsletter so we'll go here and paste this in and the only thing I'll need to change is to make sure that my control I you know my sorry my target control ID is set to txt display date I need to change either change that to match this text box one what I'm going to do is change the name of this txt display date okay so that one should work so let's uh, save this and then let's try this one oh and it's giving us some error so let's see oh so he's complaining he doesn't know about this ASP calendar extender so I think some of the problem here might be again I've switched I switched my toolboxes um, I'm sorry I switched to control kits I was using the old one so I've got the old script manager on here and you notice I'm not registering this prefix for the I'm registering this old tag prefix here for the editor but let me go in here and grab um, rather than just calling the script manager they call it the toolkit script manager here grab one of these guys and 
put him on. And there, that pops in this right registration for this assembly. So you might need to do this as well. But let's try to run this now. Okay, so oh, it says only one instance of script manager. So let's get rid of this one. We need the new one. Let's try to run it one more time. And here we go. Nope, oh, gotta log in again. Okay, and then if we select, and there we go. There's our calendar. Pops up. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing now on the See, that was edit news. We want to edit product. Let's do the same thing on this page. So, again, we'll have to go to design view. Go to our details view. And talk to Rob to crack open the black box for that. Oops. I'm sorry. I don't want to edit product. I want edit uh, event then we'll go down here talk to Rob go to edit fields go to display date convert it to a template field say OK look at the source find the template for the display date and again, this is we're in the edit one, so we want to convert this edit template. And I'm just going to paste that same code in and change this to txt display date. And let's try this. And I think we get the same problem. Yeah, it doesn't understand the ASP, so let's go change our. script manager here to the new script manager uh, toolkit script manager drop the new one in okay and log in Okay, so if we select this one, but there it is, there's our little calendar. Okay, so we could add it on the date added, but we're actually in the next video. What I'm going to do, this date added, this is the, you know, this is the date we want to display. This is the date this stuff's been added to the database. We'll come to the next one and make this default to the current date. Not on the edit ones, but on the add. So anyway, that's the end of this video. That's adding these uh, little calendar extenders.